Hello and welcome to SEW Road Drive. I'm Ken Wiesman. I'm going to give you a tour of our TS Torque Monitoring System Demonstrator. This is a unique solution that's offered by SEW, which is a combination, very flexible combination, of multiple gearboxes combined with a mechanical torque output monitoring system. This design was originally put together for the wastewater clarifiers but it can be used for any application where you need a very high output torque combined with a relatively low output speed. And this uses a two-stage torque monitoring system where it's applicable to protection of both equipment and for personnel. Let's look at some of the features and how the TS system operates. First, the lower larger gearbox would be mounted on the clarifier bridge structure. It can either be mounted with a foot mount or a flange mount. We can use any number of the gearboxes available through SEW from the inline helical R series, the right angle, right angle helical K series, the right angle worm drive S series, or the uh, very high output torque planetary P series. Below that would be mounted the sludge rake assembly, and on the input shaft of the large gearbox up on top, you would mount the F series, which is otherwise known as the snuggler gearbox with a small electric motor, typically less than one-half horsepower, but even at one-half horsepower, it can still generate enough output torque through the multiple gear reductions through the, the multiple gearboxes to be able to generate very high output torques in excess of 350,000 inch-pounds. A lot of torque. This small gearbox assembly on the top is held in place by a couple springs, but it allows it to float in, uh, and move in a directly proportional way to the output torque coming out of the gearbox assembly. The torque arm apparatus allows for two-stage monitoring and control using independent sensors for alarm and shutdown in both single and bi-directional operation, as well as that can be configured for single or dual channel monitoring for protection of both equipment and personnel. The dry contact magnetic proximity sensors are factory calibrated and set your specifications, although they are field adjustable should your output torque requirements change in the future. All that being said, let's see how it actually works. I'm going to let the motor spin up and slowly increase the resistance to the output shaft as it would if you're on a clarifier if you had additional uh, resistance on the clarifier rake. So as I increase the torque, the output torque requirements, I'm going to turn that up. The pointer moves across the scale to a point where the alarm torque sensor is lit up. If I continue to increase the resistance on the output shaft, it goes up to the point where the alarm sensor is made. And once the alarm sensor is made, the red light turns on and the unit shuts down. Let's do it one more time. As I turn it up, the resistance to the output shaft turns up. The alarm sensor turns on. If the resistance on the output shaft continues to increase, the pointer moves farther across the scale to the point where the alarm sensor turns on, indicating with the red light, and then it shuts off. The TS units are built very robustly to withstand the environmental conditions that they're going to be exposed to. The hermetically sealed sensors are placed into an IP66 rated uh, cast iron conduit box and you can run hardwired connections for power and sensors in the lower conduit box but make sure you ensure to use a flexible connection for powering your electric motor because if it's not allowed to pivot freely it will interfere with the normal operation of the TS unit. Here's a close-up view showing the pointer on the upper gearbox assembly and how you can read the the output torque of the gearbox in real time. So here, let me start it up again. Let the motor wind up, and right now it's having very low output torque. As I slowly increase the output torque, you see the pointer move across to the first mark, which indicates the point where the alarm would turn on. Okay, my alarm just turned on, reaching the alarm torque. And if I continue to increase the torque, the pointer will move across to the point where it reaches the shutdown torque and the motor turns off. Do that one more time, a little faster, just to make it a little easier to see. Okay, motor is starting. 
torque is increasing. As you move farther across, you get the first mark, which is the alarm torque. And as I increase, it goes to the shutdown torque. Now that you've seen how the TS torque monitoring gearbox system operates, we need to answer a couple questions to be able to design a system specific for your application. First, we need to know the desired gearbox mounting orientation, whether you want it in line, 90 degree, foot mounted, flange mounted, etc. The second thing, uh, we would like to know the desired rotation speed and direction, whether you want it to be able to sense the output torque in one direction or bidirectional. Third, we would like to know the desired torque, the output torque for the alarm and the shutdown, with the alarm torque typically being somewhere in the 70 to 90 percent of the shutdown torque range, although we could be set lower if you desire. And fourth, the sensors we typically use are normally open, although we could supply normally closed if it fits your application better. And we do have a couple other options. The electric motor, obviously SCW will happily supply you an electric motor, although if you'd like to supply your own, we can supply an adapter for a NEMA rated motor to mount on top of our gearbox. And for additional variable speed control, uh, SEW does offer a wide variety of different VFD options. And so to review, the TS system is a very simple and reliable way to provide direct torque monitoring with real-time torque indication in very high torque applications. We've got the two-stage monitoring for both alarm and shutdown, so it can be used to protect both equipment and for personnel. So if you'd like additional information, contact your local SEW sales representative or look at www.sewurodrive.com. Thank you.